The SharePoint Weather web part was launched uh, in the last uh, two months, and uh, today I definitely want to go and try this out and see what it looks like. So uh, I'm on my nerve center intranet, <laughs> and I'm going to go and edit this page. So let's just click on edit, and then I'll just give it a moment. I'm going to scroll down. I'm actually going to add this at the bottom of my page. So um, right at the bottom, I've actually divided the page up into three zones. So you'll see this in a bit. And uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, of course, I can just search as well for the web part. I normally expand it to see what's new that I might have uh, missed in the last while. So that's uh, normally a lot of fun. And uh, I'm going to go and select the weather web part. Now, as soon as you say select, I can then um, type a name for a place and add it. Now, um, the reason why I added three is that I want to add three of them next to each other. go and then I'm going to add Durban as well now the nice thing is is that um, I can actually set this because of course um, in South Africa we uh, we use Celsius not uh, Fahrenheit so if, if I go to the web part and I can actually just change it to Celsius and you can see it's quite cold here at the moment I'm definitely suffering a little bit but uh, there we go that's how easy it is to actually go and change this and, uh, and that's a pretty cool way to uh, then display the weather web part. Let's just publish this and see what it looks like. Ah, that's pretty cool. So there you can see the weather web part. It shows there at the bottom. It uh, gives you the highs and lows as well, the date. And uh, because it's such a small little web part, I could actually add three of them next to each other. It doesn't take up so much space. So I think that's a pretty cool thing to use on your SharePoint pages and on your intranets. So uh, we'll catch up soon. Let's go and see what, uh, what new things have been launched that we can try out. Chat soon.